it's just excitement. You know, I'm just waiting for opportunity. I know everybody in the gym is just waiting for their time to shine. And I know that we all are ready to shock the world. How, how, how do you guys plan on shocking the world, you know, considering the classes you guys are bringing in this year? Since we know that everybody's looking at us as a new team, a new coach, a new era, we're being able to play together with a bunch of group new group, a new group of guys being able to know that we're playing together, playing smart, and make sure we just win games. We're all not out here looking for ourselves benefit, we're looking for Duke's benefit. To your point about the new era, you, you had your pick of, you know, the most historic programs in college basketball. What made you decide to commit to Shire and this new era? Uh, during my recruitment, it was really just a relationship I started to build with Coach Shire. Being able to know I could put my trust into someone that is really betting on me, I'm just looking for the same benefit from him. Earlier, Flip said that people would be surprised how well you guys play off each other. Can you expand on that a little bit? Well, both of us are able to be very unselfish. We love being able to pass the ball and get our teammates open because we know that everyone's so focused on us being able to score the ball or just to stop us. So knowing that one day he's going to have his games, one day I'm going to have my games, and just vice versa, so that, know, so that we know that whenever he's open, I'm going to get him the ball, and whenever I'm open, he's going to give me the ball. Have you been on teams before? Um, I know you've been on talented teams before, but have you been on teams before with this many talented big men that maybe you can not necessarily take time off, but you can you can at least know that as much as you're not going to have as much on your back. You have other guys you can depend on. Is that something that you uh, had before? Or is this the first first time experience? For you? Uh, I've been on teams with multiple different varied types of great big men, but I definitely say this team is it got a lot to do in the post. You got a lot of different types of players, a lot of different types of bigs. So we're going to have a great year. How does that make you? Did the job as far as bringing you all together, but how well is he doing the job as getting you, getting you guys to play together with all this talent that he has to work with? How well of a job is he doing in that aspect? I think he's doing an amazing job, making sure that we're always bringing energy, competing, and just staying focused in every practice, making sure that we're getting better every day. What's his role in keeping your guys' egos down and making sure you guys play for each other instead of, instead of for yourselves? Honestly, I think that comes down to the team. I think Coach Shire already set the, set the tone whenever he was recruiting us. We all know that we're not here to make ourselves better, but making each other better. Making sure that we all get the looks, making sure we all get the publicity and the cameras that we need to get. I mean, yeah. the looks that we need to get. Right. You, you, one of your assistant coaches played the NBA as a, as a post player. What advantages do you get from having Coach Jefferson teaching you the little, little nuances that you learned from playing pro ball as long as you did? Being able to know the details, I didn't realize how much the details really cared and really mattered in the game. But whenever I got to Duke, I really realized that if you focus on the details, it's going to pay off in the game. Knowing that we have someone as smart as him and as experienced as him, it's just we're just great to have him. Did you two ever square up in practice? Oh, we do that many times, and I was just say I'm the one winning most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Derek said that we were going to be surprised at how well. Um, you guys all play together. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think that comes from? Um, just a bunch of bunch of new guys all together being able to play together so well. I'd be able to say it comes down to just some selfishness. We're all just excited to play basketball, and we all know that everyone's looking at us to make a mistake. So that we know we're going to make mistakes, we're going to move past them, and we're going to get past them together. Derek said he was chomping at the bit to get out there with you. Do you feel the same about him, and what do you look forward to the most in playing with him? Who'd you say? I, I didn't hear you. I'm just looking, I'm, just, I'm excited to play with Derek. I know that we're kind of waiting for him to get back, but he's making speedy recovery, and we know that once he gets out there, we're hitting the ground running. He's a very unselfish player, and he could do everything well with the ball, and he always makes the right play. How about Jeremy Roach and the role that he's playing with, with bringing you guys together so far? He is going to be looked at as the unquestionable leader of this team based on the experience he has. And from what I'm hearing, he's already showing that leadership you know, during the offseason and getting you guys together and getting you guys accustomed how has he been from your perspective? He's been a great leader. He's made sure that we set the tone of being Duke basketball, making sure that if we're messing up, we get right to the point. We're not sugarcoating anything. We know that as soon as we make a mistake on the court, everyone's going to look at us as doing wrong. So we got to make sure we get the mistakes out now so that when we get to the game, there's no mistakes to be made. How easy is it for you guys to look at him like that? You know what I mean? As that leadership role based off the, the year that he had where he elevated kind of his position in college basketball. He knows the ropes. He knows everything about Duke basketball, and he knows how to act, how to carry yourself, and how to play. So we just try to go to him as a sort of making sure that we're doing the right thing so that we can make sure that we perform the right way. You mentioned the word expectations a couple of times. It seems like that's something that you feed off. Would I be safe in that assumption? And if so, why? I'm just someone who just likes to take care of opportunity. I like to just take advantage of it. I know that everyone's going to have 
their eyeballs on us, making sure that we're going to perform the right way we should. It's just making sure that we know that we can do it ourselves and we're going to do it together. What was your experience with the Wim Hof breathing exercise that you guys did? That was really interesting. I've really never done a breathing exercise like that. And it was really, uh, it was really relaxing and it was centering. What are you most looking forward to? You know what I mean? Like first year in college basketball playing for Duke, this most most historic, one of the most historic programs in the country. What are you most looking forward to right off the rip? I'm really just looking forward to get out on the floor, just playing together, just having fun and making sure we're doing the right things out there. I'm not trying to look for any goals. I'm just really making sure we're winning. That's all I care about. Derek, you're a guy that had your pick at any program in the country. Um, you obviously picked this one. How much have you thought about what this first game and this first experience for you is going to look like inside of here with this place going crazy? Oh, well, I think about it almost every day. But I know it's really going to come down to me putting in the work and me putting in the time day by day so that whenever I get to the stage, I can perform. Jeremy said he talked to you on the first day about wanting to get back to the final four and he took. Uh, can you talk about that conversation he had with guys and that being guys so? It's going to take a lot of heart, a lot of grit, a lot of time, sweat, blood, and tears. It's going to take everything we have and more. Being able to know that everyone's going to be looking at us, thinking that we're the new team, a bunch of young guys that aren't ready for college basketball, we know we're going to have a chip on our shoulders when we play. What's going to have you guys prepared the most when you do reach that first piece of adversity this season? Being able to know that you have someone to fall back on. You know, if you miss a shot, you have your teammate there to back you up to give you the ball to shoot the same shot next time. We know that we all have confidence in each other to make the right play and make the next play. Jake, if we go on social media, we can see uh, clips of you stepping outside and hitting the three. Is that going to be part of your game at Duke? It's definitely going to be a part of my game, but it's not going to be my entire game. My entire game is just playing hard and making sure I'm making the right play. And whatever I need to do to win, I'm going to do it. You uh, filmed a jersey reveal for the football team with Eli Pankow. Can you talk us through, like, how that went and what that was, experience was like. That experience was great. Just having a great relationship with the football and basketball team is just a great experience to have. It really makes Duke feel like a great home and a great family. Knowing that we have support from the football team and we even support the football team. It's just making sure that we're going to have a great year. Have you been to a game yet? And what do you think about the football team so far this year? Uh, I like the football team a lot. I think we're going to have a pretty good year. Uh, everyone's been looking at us from last year thinking that we're just going to be the same team. But I know the football team has been getting in the gym, lifting weights, and been making a lot of progress. Derek, uh, Derek mentioned um, coming into the class, a lot of not having egos, everyone coming from the top of the class, high institutions. How, you know, how influential has it been to be here at Duke and not have those, those type of egos present within the locker room? It's honestly a great experience to be with. Uh, it's a great place to be in knowing that everybody here is just looking to make sure that we win knowing that they're all putting aside their names, putting aside all the things that they think she, they should achieve, just knowing that we're here to win. We're here to play together and we're here to have fun. Derek, you mentioned being there for your teammates. Obviously, Derek's still recovering from the injury. How are you guys still making sure that he's incorporated with the team from a basketball perspective and also just from a chemistry perspective? We know that he's at every practice, at every lift. He's paying attention to every play, every drill, making sure that we know that he's ready whenever his foot's ready. He's ready to step on the court and just excel. He's a very confident young man at just 18. Like, where does that come from? Uh, I have to say, my mom raised me right. You know, I, I had to for I was forced to grow up at a young age, so I just face life how it was, just really how it is. No matter how hard, no matter how happy, just got to deal with it. Because the guy that you know has a future in the NBA, what has it been like um, seeing guys come back? Tatum and, and Tatum and those guys, and what has it been like talking to them? It really is it's the brotherhood mentality, knowing that you still have the lifelong relationship to go to the NBA and still being able to come back and have an impact on the next players, the next generation, and even having your own relationship with the coaching staff, the staff, and even the managers. Everybody here has their own important part to play, and it's just a lovely, a loving brotherhood to be a part of. How much do you look up to past Duke big men uh, like Mark Williams, Marvin Bagley, how do you like that? They all have different types of games, knowing that I can watch little parts of their games and being able to pick what they do well, what they don't do well, and being able to add that to my game, being able to study what they do well and being able to study what people, how they stop them. I know they're going to try to do the same thing to stop me, so I can just prepare for that. You're probably going to be compared to Mark Williams, long rim protector, rim runner. 
he was a sophomore last year. You were a freshman. Is that does that bother you? The expectations people are placing on you to step in right away and replace a sophomore who was a lottery pick? I wouldn't say I'm afraid for it. I would say I'm excited. I know that's a lot of opportunity that I can take a, like, take advantage of. I know that I'm looked at to be the best rim protector, looked at to be the best this or so on. I'm just going to be the best B I possibly can be, and hopefully that's going to get me as far as I need to. Derek, as, as Coach Shire takes over the program and puts kind of his ownership on things, what's left an impression on you the most? He's a great person. He's a great coach. He's a great leader, and he has all of our best interests at heart. I know that no matter what situation happens, he's going to have our backs, and we're going to have his back. What about his leadership style resonates with you? He's just, he's very hands-on, he gets straight to the point, he's real, and he's just a great person. Knowing that he's going to tell you what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, and how to fix it, he's just a great coach. You have a bit of a Duke connection going to the same high school as Cam Reddish. Uh, have you talked to him at all? I've definitely talked to Cam about coming here, about the recruiting process, and even about playing here. He said that you just got to step up. The moments are going to get big, but they're going to get even bigger the farther you go with this game. You can't be afraid of those moments. You just got to step to them. We got the chance to hear a little bit from your graduate school teammates about how much they cherish getting to sort of pass down the experience of being a first year player at the college level. What's that experience been like for you on the other side of that exchange? It's a great, it's a great experience. Just being able to be at this brotherhood is just, it's a dream come true. Being able to be in such a great position academically in athletics or even just a great community. It's just a great position to be in. Jaden talked about the bond that um, your group of freshmen has. How's that been getting to know them, hanging out? Well, we're, we're a family. It's just a brotherhood. Being able to know that after practice, after class, after anything going on in the day, you have your brothers right there to make sure that you're doing OK, making sure you want to get in the gym, you have someone going with you, or even if you're just going to get something to eat. It's just a great mentality and just a great community to be in. You talked a lot about how the expectations for your gameplay and expectations as, as a team have sort of served as a motivation for you, but also with that comes a lot of pressure. So how have you, just since being here, been able to sort of keep your head down and what, where have you found support in sort of being with so much attention? With my teammates, with the people around me. I'd say that I found a lot of comfort in just making sure that I spend time in the gym making sure the only thing I could do is just try to get better, making sure that I have my teammates' backs and they have my back.